If you saw a reproduction of this painting in a book, you might think it was a massive canvas intended to hang in a large public space. In fact, its small scale suggests a more intimate location. It may even have been stored in a cabinet and taken out only when its owner was among friends who shared his, almost certainly his, particular interests. The theme, love among the ancient Greek gods, allowed the 17th century Netherlandish artist Joachim Oiteval to demonstrate his remarkable knowledge of the human body. Thetis, a minor sea goddess, married Peleus, a mortal king. And invited all the other gods and goddesses to the wedding, all but Eris, the goddess of discord. But Eris came anyway. You can see her hovering in the sky, just left of center, holding a golden apple in her outstretched hand. The apple is inscribed, "For the fairest," and she is about to throw it among the guests. Most of the gods have not yet noticed her; they're too busy making merry. In the center of the painting. Aphrodite, goddess of beauty, leans back into the arms of Ares, the god of war. Beside them, Eros, the god of love, points one of his arrows at Aphrodite's heart. Other gods look on or embrace each other, intoxicated by the celebration and the freely flowing wine. The smooth copper plate he painted on. Allowed Oiteval to include more fine detail than would have been possible on canvas or a wooden panel. More than fifty figures appear in this complex but coherent composition. In the far background, to the right of center, you'll see a group of figures painted in shades of grayish blue. They illustrate the next episode of the story, as the shepherd Paris gives Eris's apple of discord to Aphrodite. An act that will eventually lead to the terrible events of the Trojan War. The more closely you look, the more details you'll notice. But be warned: if this painting were a film, it would probably be rated PG-13.